Good day, and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have a look at the basics of setting up your inventory. In your MYOB Advanced system, your implementing partner will go through and set up your inventory module based on the requirements of your business. On your inventory preferences form, found under inventory in the full menu, allows defaults for managing inventory such as numbering, general ledger posting and data entry settings. Please note, you should only make changes to any settings under the configuration tab after talking to your business partner. Next, we will look at item classes. Each inventory item is linked to an item class. This allows simplified order entry and the grouping of items on reports. The item class also defines values for calculating the cost and availability of inventory items. Item classes are usually set up by your implementing partner. In your MOB Advanced system, navigate to Inventory, Preferences and click on Item Classes. On your item class form, search for an item. The General Settings tab holds the basic settings of an item class. On this tab you will have the following. The stock item checkbox. This is if you want to track quantities. Allow negative quantity. This is if you want to allow your stock to go into a negative quantity. Valuation method. Here you can choose between standard, average, first in first out or specific. Posting class. This defines how these transactions will be updated to the general ledger. Lot or serial class. This is used to group inventory items with lot or serial numbers and to provide default settings for the new items. The availability calculation is where you set the rules for calculating the availability of stock items. Available quantity can be used for inventory planning and replenishment. Unlike the default settings listed above, the availability calculation settings are defined at item class level and cannot be changed. The unit of measure section is where you specify a unit of measure to be used as default for items. If the multiple units of measure feature is enabled, you can specify the unit of measure to be used as default sales and purchases. Also, you can define conversion rules for those units. This concludes our training video on the basics of setting up your inventory. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.